What's good, fam? How's everybody doing today? I want to thank everyone that has subscribed to my page. I'm over 1,300 subscribers right now, and I think that's pretty good because I've just really been doing this hardcore maybe for a month, month and a half now, and I don't have music reaction videos, which is what really builds people's pages, I'm finding. Uh, and also people that pay for subscribers. I don't do any of that. I got a Facebook account. I got a Twitter that I don't use as much as I should. And I have a Instagram. But yeah, man, I'm just thinking about a lot of things, man. For y'all that's been watching, you know, about a month ago, I guess it's about a month ago or so now, almost a month ago or three weeks ago, you know, I was talking to this girl that lived in Africa, was sending money over there, man. And uh, come to find out, the chick was married. And she got married, I guess, within the last few weeks. And I know this is like my third video talking about this, but it really, conf not confounds me, it really crystallizes things for me <laughs> in terms of loyalty and trust, missing red flags. See, my thing is, I'm so quick to cut somebody off. What people would say for the smallest things, but I know what disrespect is. I know what it feels like. I know when it's said, when someone disrespects you, they say some disrespectful things and then they don't correct themselves when they do that. You know, that's a sign, a red flag. If they don't ever correct themselves, this is the person you're going to be spending your life with if you are thinking about... Um, marrying that person or being with that person you're gonna have to deal with the disrespect that she has normalized and I say she I guess I'm kind of speaking to the brothers but I guess I'm speaking to the sisters too you could say he in your case I'm sorry I'm around some construction if you hear a lot of background crap but um yeah when they start being disrespectful or saying disrespectful things and they don't correct themselves that's just who they are that's not where they are, that's who they are. See, there's a difference between who you are and where you are. Who you are is just who you are. Who you're gonna be is not gonna change, you're just gonna be that way. Where you are is still who you are, but where you are in that moment, will you change? If I say some disrespectful things or do something disrespectful and I don't correct myself to you as a woman, I'm speaking to the sisters now, then that's just who I am. But if I address whatever I did that was disrespectful and not healthy then it just shows that's where I am and unfortunately most people it's who they are most people aren't really trying to work on themselves most people aren't really truly trying to become better people and to have a healthy relationship you need to be with someone that's trying to be a better person every day you know uh, correcting themselves becoming the best version of themselves and the way that this thing happened, I could really see that this person wasn't the one for me. And I hope that me telling my story helps you with your relationship situation or whatever as you move into 2021. 20, so yeah, it's a lot of things, man. That was one of the real lessons, you know, and I'm kind of in a situation where I kind of got to start over now. I spent a lot of money, a lot of investment. I had some emotional investment in it, but I don't, I'm the type that doesn't tie my emotions too much into something because, um, you know, no one owns anyone else on the one hand, but then on the other, it's like, you know, if you have so much invested in the outcome of any situation, and you have an emotional attachment to it, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be disappointed. So no expectations, no disappointments. And this is someone that I never met on top of everything else. So it always had this sense that it was never like, you know what I'm saying? I know that I had love for her, but I had a sense, like what kind of love disrespects you when you have a disagreement and doesn't apologize? you know, and doesn't make amends, it doesn't even acknowledge it. 
you know, and towards the end, that's how it was going. And I should have broke out at that point. You know, this person also should have just been honest uh, about her situation, being married. So now I've been through, honestly, I've been through everything with a woman. I've been with a woman that was, you know, that was curious about her, or uncertain about her sexuality, played me for a woman while she was still getting with me and taking from me. I've been with this woman that took money from me and got married. Uh, let me see what else. I've been with a woman that tried to that tried to beat me up, was actually hitting me so I could hit her back and then she can call the police on me. Uh, I've been with a woman that was uh, had an abortion, didn't tell me, you know, uh, and kind of didn't blame me and didn't want to speak to me. And it was just, I've been through a lot, man, with women. I've done a lot as well. But most of the dirt I did was in in college. I think at one point I slept with four women in three days. That was really bad. That was really bad. You know, I, it was mutual for the most part, but still that wasn't good. I remember cheating on my girlfriend once, but then she cheated on me <laughs> later. Crazy, crazy times, man. This is part one. I'll go to part two next.